Hey, this is Stefan with All American Print Supply, and this is a video on direct to film with DTG, the Epson F3070 to be exact. In this world exclusive premiere, we're going to show you how to unlock this hidden feature in the Garmin Creator software to run this race carver printer for direct to film. So stick around, and we'll show you how you can get more of your DTG printer. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we have installed or have updated to the most recent version of Garmin Creator. So from the Epson website, we're just going to go ahead and click on support. Click on drivers and downloads. It's going to detect what operating system we're running. So we get the very best version of this program. It's going to be right here. So again, we're going to download or install this. Now I'm running Windows 11. So I'm going to go ahead and type out in the search bar here, the Garment Creator program. And once we've installed or updated to the most recent version, we're going to go ahead and open Garment Creator. And then we're going to close it. Perfect. So up next, we're going to head back to the search bar and let's bring up our control panel. Now in the control panel, we're going to click on appearance and personalization, and then we're going to select the show hidden files and folders option. Now when this window pops up, you want to make sure that show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected. If you're on don't show hidden files, folders, or drives, go ahead and click over here at this time, tap apply, and then okay. All right, very good. Up next, we're gonna go ahead to our file explorer and under the this PC option, we're gonna go ahead and select the C drive. And from here, we're gonna scroll down to users and you're gonna to wanna to select the primary account that your Windows operating system is run under. Not default, not public, but whatever name you've given this profile. Now, once you're in here, we're gonna head over to app data. We're gonna go into roaming and we're gonna look for a folder that says creator f 3000 Let's go ahead and open this. Now we're gonna go into local store. Now once you're in here, you should see a file that's titled Garment Creator Interface with no spaces. Let's go ahead and click on it and then right click. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and select the copy option. Now, somewhere in the same local store folder, I'm gonna right click and let's go over to paste. And we should have a file now that reads Garment Creator Interface dash copy. So with that selected, let's go ahead and right click. We're going to go to rename and we're going to give this a very specific title for this to work. Now I want you to give it a new name of capital E, enable, capital R, reverse, capital M, mode, and then we're done. Let's go ahead and open the Garment Creator software to make sure this worked. There under white management, you should now see the option for ink order where it'll be normal, white to color. And you'll also have the option that we just unlocked for reverse, color and then white. So let's go ahead and make a direct to film printing profile. So we're gonna start by selecting the dark t-shirt option right here. And under the basic settings, we're gonna make the following adjustments. Let's go ahead and turn double strike off. We're gonna adjust our white to level two. We're gonna go ahead and adjust our color to five. And I also like to turn off the print direction mode here to unidirectional. Now under ink density, we're gonna go down to the color and we're gonna change this to negative five. Now for white top, let's go ahead and adjust this to negative 50. Now for white base, let's go ahead and adjust this to negative 80. Now for ink density, these are gonna be all of our adjustments. Now under white management, let's go ahead and go to the reduce white area. That should be two, very good. And we're gonna change our ink order to reverse. Now under our color settings, let's go ahead and head over to our brightness. And we're gonna bump this up to a two. Now for saturation, however, let's go ahead and drop this down to a negative 30. Now these are recommended guideline starter settings. 
Your individual work conditions may require additional testing or adjustments, but this should be a good starting point to get your direct-to-film transfers printed with your Epson F3070. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as a default here. Let's go ahead and give this a name and we'll call it direct-to-film. And all the adjustments and settings that we've saved will be available for later use when it's time to print DTF. Press OK to save. And there we have it. We've got our new DTF printing profile and our Garment Creator software. Now, one thing you always wanna remember when you're printing direct-to-film with the Garment Creator software, after you bring in your image to your workspace with your newly created profile, you're always gonna to wanna to mirror your image by clicking horizontal flip here. Remember, DTF is printing backwards, so we need to let the printer know how to operate. But that's basically it, and now we're done. Now, if you are interested in checking out a risk-free RIP software upgrade that'll help you save money on every print, as well as including a free direct-to-film printing profile, it's been thoroughly color tested, you can always go ahead and check out our Cathari. Now, for all breakdowns on the fun features, click the video card up here. Now, to keep my film in place on my direct to garment printer, today I'm using our DTF Platinum Grip Strips, and a little bit really does go a long way. Now, let's see if this actually works with all those adjustments we made. Send here. Job's already received. Let's take a look. There we have it. Perfect alignment, perfect registration, and perfect amount of ink. Now, for more information on any of the equipment, supplies, or processes we've mentioned in today's video, go ahead and hit the links in the description down below. And if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments section. If you made it this far in the video, drop some thumbs up. Like we said, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Esteban, we're All American Print Supply. We'll see you in the next one.